So if you just purchase plugins for Final Cut Pro and you wonder how to make them effective in Final Cut Pro, well, uh, do not look in Final Cut Pro. You will have to open a new Finder page. And now you want to come in Application. From here you will look for Final Cut Pro and you're gonna right click on it and do Show Package Content. And then you go in Content, then Plugins, Media Providers, Motion Effect, Contents again, Resources, Templates, and here we are, finally. So, uh, in that uh, temp in that template folder, you will find effect. Uh, if you buy an effect, uh, I mean, you see this portion here, effects. So everything that in here is in that folder. So if it's an effect that you buy, you will have to go in that effect folder and just put it in there. Um, yeah. Now, if you buy a transition from here, you see transition. Well, that go in transition. So every transition that are right here are in this folder. You see this graphic pack transition? I just move it in there. So in graphic pack transition, there is a lot of transition. All of them are right there. You see, if you go deeper in the folder, you'll see the MOTR. TR is for transition. So if you have a TR file, that go in transition. Uh, if we go back to effect, uh, that would be uh, MOEF, EF for effect. You can also have titles. Titles, everything that is in there are titles. So if we go deeper into titles, you got MOTI for titles, TI for titles. And finally, you can also have a generator, which is just a little bit lower right here. So backgrounds or those kind of things are uh, generators, as you can see, generators. So if we go deeper in it, you will have a MOTN. Don't know why TN, but if you have a MOTN, it goes into the generators folder. From there, if you would like, uh, you, you go in generators and that's the same thing for any, uh, type of plugin you buy uh, you can create a folder give it a name and that's the way it will show up in final cut pro so if i go in my transition folder and i rename that graphic pack transitions and i rename it potato well i will see potato just right here the next time i will reboot uh, final cut pro x so yeah, that's how you import plugins in Final Cut Pro X. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe. And what you do see back there is from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya.